Sometimes governors have a hard time uh, scaling up. And I think it's very, very important for uh, this ticket to appeal and reach out to the center and to moderate voters. I thought they would have done that with Shapiro. Look, yeah. There are three big constituencies right. here in, 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 in Wisconsin, three, three crucial constituency. Number one is the Democratic base in Milwaukee and Madison. Can they generate enough enthusiasm to turn out big numbers? Um, I, I think the indicators are right now, they're certainly headed in the right direction. Number two is the white rural vote that Democrats have been shedding. Tim Walls can come in and he will speak their language. He may not have the policy policies you know, that, that might align, but he will speak their language. And then the third major constituency is the area I live in here um, around Milwaukee, which is the moderate, um, you know, skeptical Republicans who have been drifting away from Donald Trump. Or will this be? And I think mm -hmm. your analogy is really powerful. Like 1980, like 2008, where people were saying, I'm not voting on going down this menu of ideological issues. I just like these guys. I am tired of the status quo. I want something else and I'm excited. I mean, first of all, as I said before, governors often don't scale up. He looked ready for the moment, but that was the kind yeah. of energy you usually see in late October, not early August. And I am wondering what cr kinds of crowds he's going to turn out here in Michigan and Pennsylvania, because um, this enthusiasm is not speculative. It's real. It's there. And I'm going to be very interesting to see how it plays here.